Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. So this is my Christmas themed journal that I um, created this week um, or finished, I should say, finished creating this week um, and I am sharing it with you. So this journal, uh, it's kind of a traveler's notebook size, sort of. It's four and a half by eight and a half inches. So I always get confused. I don't know if Traveler's Notebooks, it's four and a quarter by eight and a quarter, or does four and a half by eight and a half also, um, you know, kind of categorize it as a TN size. But um, either way, this is the size of the journal. And I used a paper pad, a Christmas paper pad for the whole thing. So all the ephemera inside was created just using the, um, the paper from the paper pad. Um, give me one second. Okay. So the cover, um, is one of the pages from the paper pad. And then I just doubled it up. So I put a piece of paper on the back and the front, glued it together, then sewed it and uh, folded it in half. So it's, um, it's a soft cover. It's, a, but the double, the doubling up makes it a little bit thicker. Um, and then this is a uh, one of the cutouts from the paper pad. And it says, Merry Christmas, be glad, be joyful, be blessed. So I like the colors and it sort of um, coordinated with the, the pictures here. Even though it's from the same paper pad, you know how some colors don't always coordinate together. But I thought that the leaves were green and so everything matched. Um, I also did put the four metal corners on. And there's the back and I just love this paper this uh, the picture on this so let's go inside so I did leave am I in frame okay good um, I did leave the front blank because sometimes this being um, Christmas themed junk journal I thought maybe you know like a family Christmas picture or a picture of a Christmas tree or decorations could go in the front here so I didn't put anything here so we start here with a pocket this is actually there was a whole sheet of paper or from the paper pad that had all, all these little like labels I guess um, but what I'm thinking because it's Christmas theme I'm wondering if these are like you could use them as tags like a to and from tag but I use this one to make a little label here and if you wanted to put you know if you're using it for Christmas or you know whatever the year there I thought that'd be kind of nice so I left it blank there and then um, this is one of the uh, cutouts but then I made this cutout and all the the tags are blank on the back. That way you can definitely use it for some more journaling um, or putting pictures on the back, whatever you want. So here's from the kit. And this one I did a little flip so that way you can have like little places to journal. And then all the pages that were left blank, um, you can definitely use... Um, like the, the tags in here to create other spaces. Like, you know, you can like glue it on here or here. And I also have a bunch more that I'll send along with this. Um, I didn't want to bulk up the pockets, but there's plenty of stuff that's coming along with it. So, you know, you can definitely um, jazz your journal up the way you want to. A little flip out there. And here's a taller pocket, but I left the side open because if you have like pictures or something that just doesn't fit in a smaller pocket, um, I left the side open so you can put, you know, something bigger in, um, in these pockets as well. And then you just add a little crocheted lace there, but that is not vintage. So here's another little pocket or not pocket but a tuck spot on the top and these um the music papers that I use in here they are vintage actually coffee dyed papers obviously not and I can't remember if I come across you know other things I'll let you know along the way so here's a nice place that you can actually put a picture if you wanted but it also flips up so there's plenty of writing space am I in frame there <laughs> up here if you want to um, write anything and then a little pocket here so here's some more of the little tags that you can use um, you know you can use them on different spots if you want um, let me just put this one up in the back a little bit more so you can see there's something back there there we go 
another little flip out there. Oh, also, I believe this paper, um, it's sort of, it, it's watermarked, and I think it might be vintage, but I'm not 100% sure. And then a little side tuck with some two more tags there. And this is the middle of the signature. So it's Home Sweet Gingerbread Home. And I just love the colors of this. Like it's a holiday, but it's also very, not neutral, but not so, um, you know, traditional red and greens for Christmas. It's um, holiday, but it's just like fun holiday colors. And then some more tags there. And this is just like the other one, another flip up. Um, and some more little pieces in there to use in a journal. That one is um, vintage. A little tuck spot again up here, lined with the uh, crocheted lace. And I love the little, it's like gingerbread cookies, but they have the snowmen, the mittens, the hats, the stockings, snowflakes, so that's really cute. So it's kind of like a different take on holiday, you know, um, which I really like. So it's not so traditional, but it is a little bit traditional. So that's also nice too. And another little tuck here. So there's that. And then this one opens for lots more journaling if you want to do that. Okay. And then another tall pocket there. And then there is the back. So this is, um, I think this is the first um, Christmas theme journal that I've made for this year. Um, I did have some still in my shop. Actually, I don't know if I have any more left in my shop for Christmas themes. I can't remember. They might all be gone. But um, so this is a, a, a new one that I just made. So that's always nice. I've, I was going through a little bit, well, I still kind of am, kind of going through, you know, one of those little crafty funks that you get into every once in a while where you kind of lose your mojo a little bit. But uh, I was able to finish this one um, and the others that I've been making videos for today. So, you know, they are projects that you start and you kind of like, oh, sort of lose your steam, but I'm back at it now. So hopefully um, I can get, you know, back into the swing of things so this is the um and i think i call this is the merry christmas junk journal in my shop so it is available for sale in my etsy if you are interested um, i will leave a link to the journal in the description box below and as always thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in my next video bye